on the 24th of um, February of this year, where did you expect the war to be by now? And uh, how is that different from what's currently happening? So, um, so on the 24th, I, it was a shock to me. I never expected Russia to actually invade from the north and the south. I only expected them to do what they did in the Georgian war, where they actually only fight from the rebel territory. Because they are supposed to liberate the rebel territory, right? So they should be fighting from the rebel territory and then they will head outwards and then uh, force a surrender or a agreement, just like the Georgian war. But I think uh, I underestimated the power or the strength of the Ukrainian military. Uh, it's much bigger than I thought as well. So maybe that's why the Russians actually you know uh, have to uh, invade from other points because the entrenchment uh, along the entire Donbass area is really too strong. As we can see, until today, they are still stuck in certain uh, sections uh, around, I think, around uh, Donetsk City you know, and the north northeast part of Donetsk City where the line is still the pre-war line. The entrenchment is still the same entrenchment. So they are still stuck there today, which means that should they actually only attack from the rebel area, they might actually get stuck. Which is why the, some, though some of these pro-Russian uh, analysts, they say that uh, the Northern Front is actually to divert forces, the Ukrainian forces. In a way, it's actually true because uh, it stretches the Ukrainian army uh, into multiple fronts. And uh, so in April, my thought was that the war is actually uh, going to be very fast because the Russians actually invaded really fast. I was telling people, uh, this Ukraine war will end very quickly. You know, Russia is going to win. Then after that, you know, the Russian gets stuck. And then, then we start to realize that um, the Ukrainians start to be able to reorganize, they're able to fight. And then the Russians stopped at certain lines and did not go forward anymore. And then, uh, then I have to change my mind again. So I only try to appreciate the situation based on what I'm seeing. And uh, every time I predict something, it goes wrong. So yeah, so, yeah. yeah this is what happened, right? 